Welcome to the fourth annual Simply Truth Cruise In. Uh, my name is Anthony Moore, along here with Matt Haney at Lincoln County High School. We got a good turnout so far today. The weather kind of scared us, but uh, the cars are rolling in here today. We hope to have a great turnout. Uh, this money is really going to use for great use towards our, uh, our camp, but uh, Matt, he's going to uh, talk a little bit about that. Matt. Thank you, Mr. Anthony. Yeah, uh, the proceeds today are going to go to uh, Simply the Truth Ministries, uh, in particular, Simply the Truth Adventures. Uh, we're specializing in uh, youth camps for uh, obviously the youth and children age uh, kids there. So we're also just trying to get us going here, get some funds raised to, to further our ministry. And uh, we're really excited about the day and looking forward to a great day. We're going to look at some of the cars down here to cruise in today. We got a 57 Chevrolet. Bright red, white top. We got a uh, blue and white '55 Chevrolet. We've got a, uh, uh, a 32 Ford two-door sedan. Uh, we've got a rat rod pickup, a couple pickup trucks. Uh, we got a few more on down the line here. We're going to try to even see some of the owner, owners down here. We got a Dodge Dart here. We got a, uh, a big couple of big Chryslers, got a 34 Ford. Uh, man, we're getting some good quality cars down here today. We're gonna try to talk to some of these owners here. We can round them up. I think I didn't, they done found the, some tents to get under. So we're gonna try to dig some up and talk to them. Uh, this Chrysler here, it's big four door sedan. He's got leather in it, uh, V8 engine, got air on it. Uh, it's got tilt wheel. Uh, he's got a real, this is a real nice car. Hit the interstate in, go about anywhere you want to. We got a Ford Coupe here, got leather interior, V8 Chevrolet motor in it, tilt, air, it's got all the all the bells and whistles on it. Uh, they come in down here, they like your bell, they all try and win that motor, so we we appreciate them coming in down here today. We got uh 94 S10 belong to Travis Tucker, he's been down here every year. Uh, down here at the car show since we started and we got a truck here belongs to Wayne Jeans, uh, 72 Chevrolet truck, got uh, air, fuel injected motor, uh, tilt, it's got power windows, it's got all the good stuff on it. Uh, and he's got it for sale in case anybody needs one. We're here with Rex O'Neill and his uh, Go Wing trike. Uh, Rex, tell us what, what you got here. What it, uh, is it converted? Is that what it is? Yeah, it uh, was a two-wheel, and then you had to buy the kit to make it a three-wheeler. And you and Becky do a lot of traveling too, don't you? Oh, yeah. We go quite a bit. We go and been to South Dakota and everywhere. Get wet? Yes. <laughs> Part of it, isn't it? It don't have a top, so you get wet. Like Becky's got the best seat in the house, looks like. Yeah, and it's heated, too. It's got heated seats, so she can just sit in there and warm up. Well, that's good. Uh, this is the motorcycle down here Rex brought in. We sure do appreciate it. We got Chase Frame here. He brought his dart down here today. He's gonna let you. Uh, He's gonna tell something about it. Um, it's a 1969 Dodge Dart, 08 Viper Red. I uh, got it about four and a half years ago. Me and my dad been working on it for uh, weekends and nights, and. Um, it was. It started out rough, but I think it came out pretty good. I think it looks good. You did a great, great job on it. Thank you. Good. It worked out good. First dodge, you know. <laughs> you got to start somewhere, don't you? Hey, there's a lot of dodges I wouldn't mind having. He, he liked it, so I mean, couldn't find anything else. We got uh, Lynn Patterson Chevelle. Uh, he bought this car, I think, a couple years ago. I have a barn, and uh, he's put a. He's got a big block in it, four-speed car. Uh, He's talking about getting it repainted, but he just, uh, right now he's just going to drive it and enjoy it. Uh, Jeff Bowling's here. His, his Nova, he's been down here. Both of them have been down here the last couple of years. Uh, it's a four-speed car, small block motor in it. And uh, it's, they've been good about bringing, down, bringing them down here every year. So uh, hope they show up again next year. We've got a 72 Chevrolet pickup truck here, Cheyenne, long bed truck. Uh, well, it's got a nice paint job on it. We've got a 66 Chevrolet pickup truck here. The fellow said he's, him and his son's working on it. So uh, it's, uh, 
these guys are looking good, got in a driving condition, and uh, we appreciate them coming down here today. <laughs> we got a 54 Chevrolet truck back here. Uh, I'm going to talk to the owner here. All right, where'd you get this fine truck at? Uh, a gentleman named Anthony Moore. You got hooked on that truck, I tell you that. <laughs> Big time. Still still trying to recover. I, I don't blame you. And you driven this truck everywhere, ain't you? Everywhere. Everywhere. We've had it Somerset, Kentucky, the Shades, in uh, Chattanooga. We're everywhere. Well, it's. Uh, I had it for about a year and, and sold it, but uh, I enjoyed it my, myself, and uh, we should, should appreciate you bringing it down here. We got a Ford F100 down here. Uh, they had it down here last year. Uh, they also have the uh, mud blazer down here. They do the mud races in it. Uh, this is a Williams family vehicles. Uh, that blazer got a real hot motor in it. They can sling some mud with it, but they uh, it's a big thing now, these, these mud races. But uh, hey, we appreciate them having it down here. Got a 66 Mustang, uh, nice restored car. Uh, we got an 87 GTA Trans Am that belonged to Donnie Abels. He bought that car new. He had it down here last year. Uh, had the motor, new motor put in it, and uh, he been driving that car ever since new, ever since '87. So uh, anyway, we're glad he brought it down here today. We got a '66 Chrysler here, uh, brought down here today, like a barn find. He uh, drove it down here, and we appreciate him having it down here. We got a uh, '56 Chevrolet, uh, 30, 37 Ford, 36 Ford, nine street rods. I so see you got your street rod down here. Where you got? Where you driving? Thirty-seven Ford. How long have you had it? I've had it uh, sixteen years. Put a lot of miles on it. Yeah, I drive it everywhere. It's Man. never been on a trailer. <laughs> if it's on a trailer, it's been stolen, ain't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> where about y'all from? Arab, Alabama. Hey, we should appreciate y'all coming down here. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like gonna have a, looks like gonna have a good show. Oh, we hope so. This rain, this looks like me is clearing up. So I hope so. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. All right, what y'all riding in today? Well, this is my grandpa's car. I know it's a 1936. Uh, it's a 1936. I bet it's a Ford. We bet. Dude, I, I think it is. <laughs> he let you drive it. I asked him. He laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe you get 16. Are you 16 yet? Well, I'm 15 and a half. Yeah, maybe you get 16. Yeah. I'm single for all the ladies. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we appreciate them bringing that car down here, though. We got a little five old Mustang here. Uh, he got like me. Got it hopped up pretty good. Got all kind of. Holly stuff on it. Uh, I think he was down here last year. We got a uh, 46, 47, 46 Ford down here. Uh, we got a 60, 68 Mus, uh, Camaro. So we got a lot of cars down here today. Still coming in too. Is that a 46, 47? 47. 47. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Ray Landman. I live here in Fayetteville. I say I'm fat, but we don't ever cross paths like that. But <laughs> uh, how long have you had this car? About two weeks. Oh, well, this is kind of a maiden voyage car show, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Come out of West Tennessee. Uh, does it ride and drive good? It was very good. We sure do appreciate you being down here today. Thank you. Uh, we got a 66 Chevrolet pickup truck. Uh, we got a 55 Chevrolet truck. We got a 68 Chevrolet truck. And we got the owners of these cars back here. We got the uh, owners of these vehicles back here, and uh, I know I usually give them a, uh, a tree to park under, but uh, you're going to let me buy this year, aren't you? Yes, sir. If, if you let the breeze stir a little bit. <laughs> he's already won one double prize. He's, well, he's after that, uh, that crate engine up there, but, you know, uh, anyway, we appreciate them being down here today. Thank you. We got a 68 Chevrolet pickup truck down here. Uh, what's your name, and, what, and uh, tell me about your truck. Uh, Harlan Dudley, and it's my dad's truck. He put that motor with the three deuces in it on there because he's always wanted one. He pretty much only an uncle of mine painted it. He's done all the interior work and my dad did. Done all that. He hand painted the center caps on it. All the little flag emblems he put on each center cap. He hand painted that himself. He let you drive it? Oh no, <laughs> I don't drive it. I'm afraid to drive it. That thing with those three deuces on there, it'll get loose quick. Well, where about y'all from? Uh, we're from Deckard. Deckard. Well, we sure do appreciate y'all coming down here. Thank you. We got a five-window Chevrolet pickup truck here. Belongs to Mr. Jones. He's uh, he's been showing this thing forever, 
and uh, we're going to try to get a word from him. Mr. Jones, how many trophies you won with this truck? Pardon me? How many trophies have you won? Uh, I got 240. You about ready to quit? You keep on going. My wife says I am. If you win a motor, though, that'd be a good win with it, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be a good way to go, a good way to quit. But she made me take the trophies out of the house, they're all in the garage. Uh, how long have you had this truck? 17 years. How many miles have you put on it? Uh, since odometer, since I've changed it all, it's got 17,000. We sure do appreciate you being down here. I enjoy coming. Thank you. 17,000 on that speedometer. Yeah, that's what I'm going. We got a, uh, what year Mustang is this? 65. Where y'all from? Salina, Tennessee. Uh, how long have y'all had it? Four years. Y'all y'all have it painted or who do y'all work to it? We had quite a bit done to it. Actually, a complete off the frame restoration. Uh, the last paint job was by Julian's Auto Body in Cookville. You get out and drive it pretty often? About every week. Well, that's, that's good for it. Uh, I think y'all called early. We all in Lynchburg this morning when y'all called? We were. We have a, my husband was raised in Lynchburg, and so we have a home there. So we drove halfway last night and spent the night, so. Well, I know you're driving a Ford, but we're going to give away a Chevrolet motor, but y'all take it, won't you? We'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. 56 Ford here. He's done a great job on it. Kind of got the street rod theme going on on it. He got air, uh, big wheels and tires on it. We got a, uh, a 442 over here. Uh, what year is this 442? 1968. How long have you had it? 22 years. And you want to get rid of it? Yes. Time to play something else? Yes. <laughs> hey, 22 years. I bought it in uh, 1988. How many miles have on it now? Uh, 90,000. That's not no miles for a car that's old, is it? No, it's not. We've I mean, got the original license tag on front of it. Where did the car come from originally? Alabama. Alabama. You going to? Uh, I bought this in Knoxville. Really? Yeah. That's kind of odd. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Is that the original paint? Been painted before? No, it's original paint. Really? Yes, Man, it is. it's been garage cap for 22 years. Man. <clears throat> and the interior is original. Everything on the car is original. The whole thing is original. Oh, it's got a dog leg in it too. You shift them gears, can't you? Yes. Yeah, it's got a Hurst four-speed in. This is original 442. A 442 meant a 400 engine, a four-speed and dual exhaust, and that's what this is. So, it's the original car. As you can see on the thing, it's got 90,242 miles on it. Well, and maybe- I bought the car, it had uh, 74,750. So in 22 years, and I put that many miles on it. Maybe uh, maybe somebody need one down here today. I sure hope so. <laughs> if anybody needs a 442, here's one right here. Appreciate it. Thank you. We're down here with uh, Bill Stovall. Bill, you got a long uh, history on this car here, don't you? Yes, it's a long history, and I, I, I can't claim the car because the car is not titled to me, but uh, I can tell you the story from pretty well day one on this car. This car is a local car here in Federal, Tennessee, sold new here at Race Motors. Uh, a young lady by the name of Diane Sively uh, got that car for her 16th birthday, 1965, and she graduated in uh, 67. And uh, I knew the car then, of course, I graduated in 65. And as years went on, I ended up with the car. And uh, my mother-in-law got it, uh, Mrs. Nell Tucker got it. And she kept it till she passed away. When she passed away, she uh, left it to my oldest boy, Daryl. And uh, as time went on, we decided to totally redo the car. And uh, I told this kind of strange, uh, uh, Jeff, my youngest son, totally restored the car. I paid to get it restored. Then my wife and Daryl put it in their name. <laughs> yeah, I think you got hang, hung out on that deal, didn't you? Yeah, but it's a, it's a, it's an interesting piece of equipment to look at. It's a, the, that's the factory color. It's poppy red. Um, there's been several things added to it when we restored it. The, the wheels didn't come on it from the factory. They are factory wheels, and and then we added uh, the power steering, the brakes, and air conditioning when we restored it. But it's it's a poppy red with white interior. It's a it's a Real popular car at, at Ford car shows and all. Uh, we started showing the car. This car's been done since 94. Uh, this is the first time it's probably been out in five or six years. We started showing it in uh, 94, and uh, in 94 it won uh, uh, a national MCAS, Mustang Club of America. It won a, a national Mustang Club of America award, and then it won two grand national awards for Mustang Club of America in 94. And then uh, we also took it to AACA in 94, 
and where it won junior award there, and then in 95, uh, it won a senior award. And uh, the car is scored, uh, at that time, I believe it was on a 600-point uh, uh, system, and the, the lowest the car ever scored was like uh, about 587 to 592. Uh, also in 94 in the, in the uh, uh, Antique Club of America, the car scored in the top uh, 4% in the nation. Out of 5,800 cars, it scored in the top 4% was 223 cars, which was quite an achievement, you know. And AACA is, uh, they're pretty strict, yeah. you know. I mean, they're strict. Uh, it's kind of, some of the points they count off, of course, the person that owns a car can tell you what's wrong with yeah. it. Yeah. You have to judge, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, MCA Club, uh, they put three judges on, on every vehicle and every show it went to MCA, it was just, it took two hours, three judges, two hours. That's how much time they spend on everybody's car. Yeah. And actually your car, your car is judged against itself. It's not judged against the car next to it. It's judged on a point system against itself. Uh, one thing they docked it on was the, it has undercoating in the wheel wells. And uh, it's real rough and ragged looking from the factory. Well, I just couldn't make it look that ragged, you know, after doing all that work on it. Other thing they docked you on is, is if, if anybody knows anything about paint work, is it doesn't have enough orange peel, and, and, and they like that orange peel. It's too well, sleek, really. Yeah, if, if I'm going to spend that kind of money painting my car, you know, I don't want the orange peel. I said, well, it's orange. We'll just count that as orange peel. But uh, another point they took off is on the uh, uh, on your subframe under there, what's that, it's a unibody. It's got a dent where it was jacked up sometime or another, and, and being that, so that cost you a point. So that's just how that's how picky they get. But the car sitting beside it gets gets done the same way. I mean, uh, it's a, it's a challenge. You get you get addicted to it, and and uh, and you say, well, I spent all I'm going to spend, but then you go spend a little bit more, you know, and uh, never uh, ending endeavor. Once you start on a car, you just uh, you can't hardly stop, can right. you? Yeah, there is no stopping point. I tell people all the time, I said, you know, uh, you can go buy you a car that's restored cheaper than, than you can do one yourself. The difference of doing it yourself is the gratification of saying you did it. Of course, this car was a local car, uh, basically a rust-free car, and that just, you know, that means a whole lot. It's got all the original sheet metal on it, and, you know, it's just, only, it's just uh, you know, it's not a hot rod. It's just a 289 automatic, you know, but... Uh, Still drives and runs just like it did in '65. That's the main thing. Yeah. Well, Bill, we appreciate it. We got a GTO, I'm a judge over here. We're going to talk about too, okay. and uh, right. we'll we'll hit that in just a second. All right, that'll be fine. Miss Tucker, what does she look like when she's over? I look about like my wife. We got Bill Stovall's uh, 1970 judge. Uh, we filmed this car down here a year, to, a year or two ago, but he has uh, he's he's uh, won some awards with this car. Uh, Bill, what what have you won with it? Well, we took it in. Uh, 06, we took it to the uh, GTO Nationals in Louisville, Kentucky, and, and the way they judge is, uh, of course, a concourse class. They, they do uh, gold, silver, and bronze awards, and that's according to the, the points it scores. It got a uh, gold award up there, which I was hoping to just even get a, a, a silver or a bronze. It got gold. There again, this, their judging is on a point system. Uh, what I like about the way the, the points are done on cars like this is uh, they check your windshield wipers, they check your horn, they check your headlights. It's not just a matter of the car being shiny and pretty. It's, it's got to run. Functional. functional. It's got to be functional. And then uh, they judge, I mean, they really pick, pick, nitpick, you know. Then we carried it back in uh, to Dayton, Ohio last year, and they had a, a combined convention. The GTO Nationals and the POCI, Pontiac International Nationals, was a combined show, and I belonged to both those, and so it got judged in, in both of those shows and won, won Congress Awards there. Uh, just between 06 and uh, 09, the judging had got a whole lot uh, stiffer. Mm -hmm. They've learned a lot. They, the cars have got better, so, you know, they yeah. do it. This car here, uh, it's an old story, this car here came out of a chicken house. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it came out of a milk barn. It had a concrete floor, it came out of a milk barn. And the guy had a 65 sitting on each side of it, and this, and this judge there, and I bought the car three times before he sold it to me. Uh, I thought we was going to end up with a, a little problem, <laughs> but uh, uh, the car is it's, it's kind of a unique color for a judge. You know, a lot of people think all judges were orange. Yeah. And in 1969, of course, the first 1,500 made were orange, and that's where they get that. Yeah. But after that, in 69, 70, and 71, they could be any color that they offered. And uh, 
this car is Bermuda blue. It's a, it's not a real popular color that was on judges back then. Uh, they were mostly like reds and yellows, bright colors. And of course, Pontiac came out with this striping to, to look cartoonish like, you know, and and uh, as I told Muscle Car, when I was on Muscle Car with it, you know, you tell somebody you got a blue car that's got orange and pink stripes on it, uh, they, they kind of wonder what kind of guy you are, you know? <laughs> so, uh, but that makes the car stand out. When I got through with the car and it was just blue before you put the stripes on it, it just, it didn't have eye appeal, you know? And the car, this car here has power steering, brakes, air conditioning, a hood tack, which is unique. Of course, all judges were Ram Air, yeah. either Ram Air 3 or Ram Air 4. Uh, it's got the AM FM radio with a eight track mounted in, on the console. A lot of people know what that is no more, do they? No, uh, you, uh, I kid them at church and they say, well, we're going to make you a CD to listen to this music. And I said, well, I need an eight track, you know, <laughs> and they just look at you and say, what's an eight track, you know? But uh, this car here uh, was driven a hundred and something miles for muscle car. They filmed it on muscle car TV and it was road test. We did everything with a hundred and something miles on it. But uh, that's a, uh, you know, I'm, the, the car is unique. I've got a 69 that I'm doing now, but uh, uh, this car came close to being painted red, and uh, I just couldn't do it. And it is a matching numbers car. That's something else I didn't tell you. And of course, when they get into matching numbers, like when they check this car in uh, at the GTO Nationals, when they check it in, uh, and you can relate to this because you're going through the same thing I'm going through. They check the number on the carburetor, the number on the distributor, the number on the motor. And this, when I say this is a matching numbers car, the alternator matches, the starter matches, and and uh, that's a lot of lot of lot of fun, a lot of pain, a lot of money to do that sometimes. But but luckily this car here uh, had everything with it when I got it. it. It looked like it had a top radiator hose replaced and maybe a fan belt, and had like 140,000 miles on it. And you know people think these cars didn't run 70, 80,000 miles. They ran 140, 50,000 miles. It, and uh, probably put a lot of gas through them in that time, oh. This car must have been made in the middle of the week in the plant. It wasn't made an off shift, evidently. So it, been, it was a good car. I think it was a Monday morning or a Friday <laughs> afternoon because it held up pretty well. And, it, and, and you know, I'll also tell you, 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 when you deal with these kind of cars that, that uh, and I laughed at the man telling me this one time, a, a blue car or a brown car will be a better car than a red, white, black, or yellow because that's the hot rod colors. And I guess there may be something to that, you know. But if you turn me loose with the color, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all about the right foot. <laughs> well, Bill, we sure do appreciate you bringing both of them down here. We're glad to do it. I, ho I hope y'all do well today. Thank you. We got a 67 satellite, belongs to the stove all. We got a little 240Z here. That guy bought, he bought it new in 72, kept it all these years, restored it, put it back all original. Uh, he had it down here last year at the car show, and he's back again this year trying to win that Chevrolet motor. We got a 57 Chevrolet that belongs to uh, uh, Randy May. It's got a leather interior. It's got a uh, uh, IROC dash in it. Randy's one of our sponsors down here this year, and we sure do appreciate May Day Custom. Uh, he's had this car done for 15 years. There's no telling how many miles he's put on this car, but... Uh, Paints held up good on it. Had a new interior put in it last year. His son does the poster work, but we sure do appreciate him coming down here this year. We got a uh, 67 Le Mans that belongs to Mark Tucker. He's one of our sponsors down here. We got a GTS that belongs to uh, Troy McCoo, brought down here this year. I bugged him, told me he'd do anything, a Chrysler guy, do anything to win a Chevrolet motor. So uh, he come down here anyway. And uh, we've got a, uh, a 68 Chevrolet. SSRS, uh, he won Muscle Car of the Year up at Good Guys this year, and we're going to try to catch up with him if we can. We got a uh, street rod down here, purple and white. Got a V8 motor in it. Got air tilt. Got all the bells and whistles for a street rod. Probably drive it everywhere he wants to go. We got a 68 Caprice that belongs to Tracy McNeil. Uh, he bought that old car last year, had it painted. Uh, we got a couple Impalas. Uh, they've been down here before at the car show. He's been down here, I believe, every year we've had this car show. Uh, and we got a GMC and on the end. The trees, door prize. We're going to be giving away this. We got a uh, Trans Am here, convertible. Uh, purple stripes on it. White interior. Nice, nice ride. Over here, we got a GT Mustang. Uh, is this a Jack Rouse car, or what is this? No, this is a stock uh, GT. It's got Jack's name on it, though, don't it? We had him autograph it, yes, sir. 
That make the value go up? I hope so. <laughs> uh, this is original color on this car? Yes, it is. What year is it? 2005. 2005. How long have y'all had it? Uh, three years. Three years. Well, hey, we should appreciate y'all coming down here. All right, thank you. That's original Mustang yellow. That's uh, screaming yellow Mustang. Okay. Uh, what color do you call that? That's called screaming yellow. It came from the factory that way. Uh, we've changed out the stripes. Stripes were vinyl. We went to a painted stripe. I believe I read somewhere on the Shelby Mustang they had trouble with the vinyl coming off. The same on these cars with the coming off, or did you just want a different color? No, the vinyl just didn't give it the, that pop. It, it was kind of dull, hard to keep up on. Yeah. Uh, hey, we appreciate y'all being down here. Thank you. They put it in. I got a 65 Mustang at the house, too. This is a red one. I almost brought it with me, but... All right, we got a 55 Chevrolet up here, which belongs to me. Anybody needs one, I got it for sale. I got a, uh, we got a 60, 68 Chevelle here. Uh, we got a uh, Thunderbird. We got a 38 Chevrolet. Uh, we got a uh, Chrysler 300 here. One of them fast Chryslers, two four barrels on it. It, uh, been down here a couple times. We've got a 55 Chevrolet belonging to J.C. Moon. Uh, got a Corvette. Uh, a couple of cars out here at the car show today. This concludes our car show this year. We had a good turnout. I believe the, uh, uh, the weather might hampered some of the uh, some of the people coming, but we appreciate every one of them coming today. I know it takes a lot of effort and time to come to a car show. And uh, Daryl is going to name up off our, of our uh, sponsors this year. And uh, Daryl, I'll just turn around if you want to look at my look at my back. All right, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, yeah, we do want to say thanks to our sponsors. Uh, without them, uh, this wouldn't be possible. We appreciate them and uh, ask you to support them. Uh, we've got Howard Bentley. We got uh, Randy Mays Upholstery. We got uh, Wooliver Heating and Cooling, AAA Communication, Sonic, Bill Shelton, uh, Fair Tire, Discount Tire, Kirkland's Pest Control, Tucker Automotive, Elk Valley Trailer Sales, Advanced Auto Parts, Norm's Metal Design, uh, Jerry McKinney DDS, and Scott's Auto Body. So we just like to ask you to support uh, those sponsors because they support us and make this all possible. And uh, we just uh, thank you again. And if you got any questions about our, our youth camp ministry, you can check us out at simplythetruth.org or uh, give us a call. Uh, it's 625-2115, uh, and we'd be happy to show you what we got going on. Thanks again.